What's up guys, Spin Firearms here. And my normal go-to for holsters is Blacksmith Tactical. They are hands down the best holster business in the firearm industry. But a lot of people have pointed out that they do not make a holster for the Taurus G3C. And a lot of people are just starting off and are looking for a good budget holster. And so Warrior Land was nice enough to send out some holsters for review. They also sent out that SL1 Lite, which was actually very good for the 6R P365. Unfortunately, my 6R is with the gunsmith, so I haven't got to put the light on it yet. But when I use the light and just mess around with it, it is a great, awesome, very small, compact light. So I'm very, I'm very excited for it. Now here are the Warrior Land Tactical Holsters, both inside the waistband and outside the waistband. These go for about $20 to $25, somewhere in that range. And they're actually pretty decent. For a budget holster, you cannot go wrong with these. They have good retention. And they are pretty small. Now I would say the claw isn't as good as what you know Blacksmith Tactical offers or the clip, but they are good uh, budget holsters. I mean, you can't go wrong if you're just starting off and you got a Taurus G3C and looking for something to carry in just while you're getting used to carrying and stuff. They're actually pretty decent. Are they the best holsters in the world? No, they're not. I'm not gonna lie to you and say that, but that's not what they're for. They have a role, they play a purpose. And that is a budget holster. We all are in different places in our life. Look at, and this is the outside the waistband with the paddle. Now this one I like a little bit better than the inside the waistband. It actually has pretty decent, you know, strength to it. Feels pretty good. And that's basically what it'll look like. There's your paddle. So yeah, that is the Warrior Land Tactical Holsters for the Taurus G3C. And they're not bad at all. For $20, you know, $25, you're getting what you pay for and, you know, I think this is a pretty good route to go if you're looking for a budget holster. Thanks for watching.